Okay. <laughs> it's another episode of Photography Unicorns. Yay. Photography Leprechauns. Meaning crap that doesn't make any sense and doesn't exist. Um, <laughs> you'll kind of see this, uh, this little phrase everywhere. There's all sorts of crazy BS out there. Especially, uh, people that, uh, reference the DXO mark. I mean, that's always... Man, that, that stuff is really crazy. Um, here's this phrase, talking about, uh, further reach with a DX uh, camera. It's like, let's just say this is a full-frame lens, and, uh... It's uh, it's not a full frame lens. Let's say it's a full frame lens, a 16 to 55. I'm mounted on a full frame body. People will talk about this lens like, well, I'm going to use an DX body, and I've got more reach because uh, you know in crop mode on a crop sensor, excuse me, uh, this is basically a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. So they think that this lens has more reach. It doesn't have more reach. That's <laughs> that is a stupid as saying that uh, you're looking out a window and then like someone puts a mask, so, a mask over the window and you get the exact same field of view of a, a set of binoculars it's like wow I've just like uh, magnified uh, the image it's like no you haven't you've just taken a crop of, the crop of the exact same light passing through the window and th this amazes me to death sometimes wow I mean talk about common knowledge really isn't common amazes me that people don't realize and the amount of people that don't realize this is absolutely astronomical that every lens ever made by any camera company ever 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 doesn't know or doesn't care what size sensor is underneath it they all crap out the same light out of the back of the element same field of view same intensity of light actually if you use the same full frame lens on a DX crop body you have a higher intensity because the circle of projection is brighter at the center. And all lenses act like magnifying glasses. I send out a circle of light and it is brighter at the center. Well, that's one point. Now, the further reach thing, where is this coming from? This is an equivalent, like saying you've got a 200 millimeter lens that's mounted on a, a DX crop body. Well, okay, so it's an equivalent of a 300 millimeter. Yeah, but it's an equivalent. You know, it's an illusion. It's only a field of view change due to the crop sensor. The real presumed uh, reach, which isn't presumed because it's uh, not due to the lens at all, but it's on the side of the camera body, comes uh, from using a full frame lens on a DX crop body, taking a shot of a little birdie, you know, speckle breasted woodpecker at a thousand yards, right? You got the same 200 millimeter lens on a full frame. You crop the piss out of it, and you quickly switch the same lens on a DX crop sensor body. You get further reach, only in the sense that there is more translational bits of information covering that little speckle-breasted woodpecker at a thousand yards. <laughs> speckle-breasted. I think that's the name of a real bird, because the pixel pitch is tighter. There's more translational information per square millimeter of sensor on the DX crop body, so in that sense you get more reach. In other words, if you're going to crop the piss out of that little birdie, and that little birdie, uh, the image of that little birdie is exactly the same size on the full frame sensor it is on the DX. If that little birdie is a two millimeter projection out of the rear element, out of the entire picture, it's going to be two millimeters on the full frame, and it's going to be two millimeters on the DX crops. It's going to be two millimeters. This lens is going to crap out the same light, baby. Doesn't matter what camera it's on. The difference is that little two millimeter birdie, as it's projected onto the back of that sensor for, you know, one five hundredth of a second, uh, there's going to be less translational information. There's going to be less little dots recording all the little details of that birdie on the full frame sensor camera than it is on the DX. Now things are starting to kind of change and that full frame sensors are starting to go towards intermediate halfway between uh, DX and FX pixel pitches and here in a few years it's probably going to be irrelevant. They're all going to be about the same size. At least that seems to be the way it's headed. But as for right now this notion of further reach is nothing to do with the uh, the camera and it has absolutely nothing to do with the size of the sensor. It has to do with the pixel pitch on that sensor. So that's where the further reach comes from. You can be able to crop into it more and have more detail. 
or more detail uh, retention, technically so. So, here's Photography Unicorn number 50 or what? <laughs> There's all these photography unicorns, all this crazy BS that's out there. Because to most people, a camera and a lens is like a magical electronic wonder box, and uh, they don't kind of think about what's going on. And you know, lenses are really, really stupid. Like I know it's the year 2016, but this advanced lens from a year, year and a half ago's uh, creation is no different than a 150-year-old lens. The only difference is uh, um, an autofocus uh, drive mode. I mean. Every lens craps the same light. Does they don't care what size sensor is underneath it. They don't care what size film is underneath it, whether it's medium format or 35 millimeter or 6x7 or 645. Every lens pff, drops the same light. They all do. There's no lens that does anything different than that. They all pff, drop the same light. So, here we go. There's dispelling a photography unicorn number whatever it was. Okay?